So once you're in the trick like this, there are two ways to get out. One will be the half loop, and the other would be the quarter impossible, I guess. You just lift it up, go back. Now when I first learned this trick, my favorite way to get out of these was the quarter impossible because it was a lot less challenging to land and to get out of. And to do that, all you need to do is just lean a lot away from the board. And this back foot doesn't really do much, it just stays there for the time being. And this front foot kind of pushes over. And when it starts going over, you take your back foot out and then you kind of suck it up into your body. Let it go down, and then you just land it. It's pretty simple. Now the next way to get out of this trick is the half flip, like this. And I like them better than the quarter impossible now, because when you do the quarter impossible, I find that I have a bigger tendency to toe them or heel them, and it's just kind of ugly right, when that happens. So I just prefer the, you know, the half flip method, because it's... You know, I feel like I have more control over it. But it's all personal preference. You can do whatever you want. So we want to do the uh, half flip. It's a combination of two movements. Your back foot is going to put pressure on this truck right here or on the on the wheel. So it will roll. See, this will like roll away. And when you do that, your front foot kind of under flips it just a bit like this. And when you do this, you kind of have to jump just a bit. You kind of put pressure and then you jump away. And uh, it's really all just practice. See, so that's how you get out of them, but you just gotta get the feel for them. You gotta practice them. Like, uh, one way you can practice is just going like this, just like that. It's pretty much the same exact thing. Just practice by doing this. And yeah, that's it. Now, I feel that the half flip is the most useful out of the two because if you catch the board like this, and you're in this position, the quarter possible is not going to help you. What's going to help you is the half flip. And it's kind of iffy, but you have a shot at getting out of it. Like, I have a lot of instances on my uh, videos where I catch the board so low and I somehow get out of it just for, because I know how to half flip out and I kind of know how to maneuver that stuff around. <laughs> Which is also kind of funny to watch. So some really useful tips for this trick to make the process go a lot faster will be just taking the board and just pushing it. Like I showed before, you just push the board away. If you want to learn it that way. So one really good tip would be to practice these against an object or a wall. You know, just take your hand out and hold on to something and practice them. Uh, they can, it'll give you a good feel for the trick and how to exit out of them and how to go into them and holding them and everything. It'll help you a lot. And another really, really important tip will be to never let the front foot hit the ground when you're up. Like this. Don't ever let it hit the ground until the whole trick is done. Because if you end up just doing these and just falling down like this and do that over and over and over, you just train your front foot to fall on the ground each time you do it. So if you just teach your front foot to stay up the whole entire time, like that, until the trick is done, this will give you a good habit, and you'll never be frustrated and have something like this happen every single time. Just remember, just keep your foot up the whole entire time you do it, like this. Even if it doesn't make it, just keep it up the whole time. So once you start getting pretty good at exiting out of this trick, what you can do is do like quarter flips into rail stand, like this. And you know, maybe you make a combo like this. You know, just do whatever you want. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up my trick tip. I hope you got something out of it. It's always nice. Um, if you have any problems or any questions, uh, leave me a comment in that box thingy, and I'll try to get back to you on it. And that's it. Good luck.